Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. We have the joy of celebrating the Sacrament of Confirmation at this Mass. As you know, we have quite a number of adult candidates for the sacraments, and they couldn't do it at Easter and Pentecost. So we're beginning scheduling a few of them. So we welcome uh, Sylvia Salomon and her family. We'll be confirming you. We're looking forward to it. Let us take a moment to call to mind our sins and to seek God's forgiveness and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We'll recite the glory together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Holy High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Let your compassion come 
Why has the Lord invited you here today? Each one of us has a need, and the Lord is asking us through the Holy Spirit, who's prompting our hearts, ask, ask, that I may give it to you according to my will. Surely today, the Lord is asking you to ask Him for the Holy Spirit, and He will give it to you, give Him to you. I remember about 20 plus years ago when I perceived the Lord asking me. He asked me in Spanish because that's my native language. <laughs> he speaks all languages. <laughs> in Spanish, he said, in my heart, that's the way I perceived it. ¿Qué quieres? What do you want? In my enthusiasm, because I had gone to a retreat and I had encountered the living presence of the Lord, in a powerful way in the Eucharist. And then I received the love of God in the, of the Holy Spirit in that, in that retreat. I'll never forget it. That was 20 plus years ago. In my enthusiasm of wanting to love and serve the Lord, shortly after I began working in youth retreats to help other youth encounter that living presence of the Lord and the mercy of Jesus, this is what I told the Lord. I want to be a saint. And to me, what that meant was to be Jesus' best friend, to live for Him and love and serve God and all of His children. And that resounds in my heart still today. And that is our call, to love God intimately, that we may love and serve the Lord with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our souls, and love our neighbor as Jesus has taught us. And when we ask that, the Lord will give us everything else that we need. But first comes that relationship, so that we, we may put things in the right order in our lives, so that we're not preoccupied with the things of this world, but with the things of heaven. Now, while I am not a saint, not yet until, by the mercy of God, He receives me in heaven, I have persevered by the grace of God in loving and serving the Lord, and I continue to persevere every day, besides my faults and failings. And that is the invitation of the Lord for each one of us today, Come after me, persevere in following me, so that I may give you the treasures of my love. And that is indeed what we should strive to ask the Lord, to help us to become saints, to love, and what does that mean? That means to love without counting the cost. We love, for example, parents love their children, and, you know, it's a great sacrifice to love children, you know, and there's so much that you have to put in uh, to, to raising children, to give them all that is good and uh, provide them with, with everything that they need from a little child as, and even as they continue to grow. So to love without counting the cost, that is something that we should ask the Lord to help us to do. To be good to others as God has been good with all of us. When we have received the goodness of the Lord, we want to share that goodness. We can't hold back from what we have received. And it is more blessed to give than to receive, says St. James in his letter. We must also trust in the power of God to make things anew, no matter how bad, you know, our lives could be at this moment or have been in the past, we should ask the Lord to give us that loving trust in Him so that no matter what happens, the Lord may be our, the first in our lives and we may trust Him no matter the difficulties that we may face, the burdens, the pain, the suffering, the trials, both personal and in our families. And such is the faith and 
trust in the Lord that St. Paul encouraged us to have today. And he says in today's reading, he says, We know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to His purpose. I remember an, an episode um, that, that happened to me. Uh, all things work for the good of those who love God and are called to, to his, according to His purpose. So I remember being on the train one time, and uh, it was late at night. I had come from the youth center where we, we uh, used to get formed in the faith to, to serve other youth. And I was on the two train coming from the Bronx uh, into Manhattan. And all of a sudden, this tall black man comes in with his girlfriend. And I don't know what was going on with him, but all of a sudden, he started pacing back and forth in the, in the wagon, uh, in the car. And, uh, and he, he said some things that really struck me. And he said, you know, we have all been bad in, in some way, shape, or form, and I think we're all going to hell. And I said, whoa, like that really struck me. I, meant, I, I, I thought to myself, like, does this man not know the love of God? So um, I waited and, and I let my, my station pass. And uh, he got off the train, I got off the train. As he exited, someone, someone cursed him out and he was very upset. And I remember him saying that it was his birthday and he didn't even know why he was saying these things. So being touched by the Lord, by God's love and mercy, I wanted to share that with him. So I'm naturally a shy person, <laughs> and I only, I'm only up here because I have received the gift of the Spirit to have courage to preach and, and be a witness to the love of God. So I approached this old man, and uh, I said, excuse me, sir. Uh, I said, uh, can I have a word with you? And the first thing out of his mouth was, you're not going to curse me out, are you? I said, no, no. Um, so I said, I just wanted to share uh, a story with you and uh, I shared the story of someone that had uh, lived a life uh, of a criminal and this person had given testimony a long time ago that he encountered the love and mercy of God so powerfully one day that he perceived that he was in the deepest part of hell and that, we, and that Jesus reached down into that deepest pit of hell and brought him out by his precious blood. And I said, you are loved by God, and no matter what sin you have done, no matter what you have done in your life, that you think you deserve hell, God loves you, and is, is telling you today that he can reach down uh, in the hell that you perceive yourself to be in, and he will lift you up. Well, that man was overjoyed, and <laughs> he couldn't believe it, and he said, you know, thank you so much. And, um, and then he gave me a kiss on either cheek. And, uh, and then he said goodbye, and I say, well, as he was saying goodbye, I said, you know, happy birthday. You know, that, that was something uh, beautiful. And um, I, I attribute that to what I had received from the Lord, because I asked him to be a saint, and to be a saint is to be a best friend of Jesus, to share his sentiments of love and mercy for others as we have received. And when we realize that accepting God's love and mercy surpasses all that we could ever hope for, for not even death can separate us from the love of God, then we would have found what God wants us to find, buried in the field, that pearl of great price. What God the Father wants us to find is Jesus, hidden in the treasure of great price in the prophets and in the history of salvation. But he wants us to make that personal. He wants, the Father wants us to find in our own lives, to find Jesus, to find him anew, hidden in the history of our own lives, the, that treasure that is Jesus walking with us, when that pain and sorrow has hit our lives and we have found ourselves to be alone and we even ask, why Lord? Why, what, why was I abandoned in that difficult moment? The Lord is telling you and is telling me I was there for you and I was there with you. I do not allow my children to suffer alone. 
He is the pearl of great price, for it cost him his life to become our Savior. And so, how do we accept the treasure that is Jesus? By surrendering our lives to Him. And when we do surrender our lives to the Lord, then we will experience the richness of His mercy, the forgiveness of all of our sins, the richness of His freedom. And I don't speak just words because I have experienced that freedom in my life. The richness of His joy, the joy that you cannot imagine, and I'm sure some of you have felt in your lives. The richness of His peace, the unperishable treasure of His unbounded love. That is the treasure of great Christ. And the Father has given us that in Jesus Christ our Lord. And I want to extend some words to you uh, this day that you're receiving the Holy Spirit. Um, ask the Lord for that courage to, to give yourself in love to the Lord. Wherever you find yourself, in your family, at your workplace, um, in the streets, reaching out to those who are marginalized, maybe even in your own family, maybe someone, a friend, who, who does not know of the love of God and, and His mercy. Reach, reach for that treasure and the Lord will give it to you, the treasures of His love. And that love will come this day to you in a powerful way with the love of the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life. And He will empower you to give yourself totally to the Lord. May it be so. Amen. At this time, I'd like to call for Canada for confirmation. So we sell alone and mother responsive. Oh, 
all-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon Sylvia now to be her helper and guide. Give her the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill her with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And you're taking the name of Christ.
praise and glory in His name, for our good and good of us the Holy Church. Accept graciously these your servants, O Lord, together with your only begotten Son, so that signed with His cross and with the spiritual anointing, she may constantly offer herself to you in union with Him and merit each day a greater outpouring of your Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered far by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Holy Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the Church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim.
with St. James on his feast day, and with all the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, I will be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all.
company with your blessing from this day forward, O oh Lord. She who has been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all trials overcome, she may gladden her church by her holiness and through her works and charity foster growth in the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Congratulations, Sylvia, and to your family. I want to thank Deacon Bill Malloy. As you know, he heads up our Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults. He's worked with the candidates all year long. And uh, so we have more first sacraments coming up in the next few months. So thank you, Deacon Bill. Yes. And our new deacon, that's his second nominee. He's getting better. <laughs> so there can be actual live streaming. Uh, but thank you for all your dedication. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.